how do you develop brand voice and tone? How do you develop a brand style? Well, with over 53% of our consumers now putting trust as the main reason why they buy, we want to have a consistent brand style. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. I'm going to walk you through it with real life brand style examples and more. So let's get into it. In my decade of overseeing tens of thousands of content projects, I got to be a part of some pretty big brands and how they developed content across multiple campaigns. And we're talking platforms that had a million plus readers every single month. So all of them had consistent brand content style and tone. They had this developed in guidelines. And this is something that I do over at The Content Hacker in my elite service content engine where I find, hire, and train your perfect writer. This is for heads of companies looking for a personal one-to-one -one writer. So in that service, we take a brain dump essentially from the founder's head and we put it on paper. And sometimes it's the first time that that founder actually has in writing pieces of their brain. Because if you don't have brand content style, that brand style tone and voice established before you get to creating content, what that does is it can mean that your content gets created very inconsistently. And remember, trust is a primary reason why people buy. What drives trust? Authenticity, being yourself consistently. For example, if you think of the big brands out there, right, Nike, Microsoft, Apple, for some examples, they have a consistent style, especially Apple. It's known for this minimal, well-written, highly visual style. Can you imagine if one of their new products looked nothing like the others with copy, design, and if their website was completely off? So brand style guidelines can really drive a consistency across the board in all of your content. And I highly recommend doing this. Quick shout out here at Content Hacker, I have a free brand content style worksheet that you can download, you can put it to use, you can actually fill it out and it'll help you generate brand content style guidelines. You can download that, look for the link in the comments or around here somewhere, the first pen comment, the description, but grab that worksheet. So we're gonna get into more here in a little bit, but I wanted to let you know that I do have a free guide where you can start developing your brand voice right away. So grab that. Okay, so when we're developing the brand style, tone and voice, what should we do? How do we create this? Where should we start? So the first place to start, and I'm going to use my Content Hacker brand style guidelines as an example here. The first place you should start is with who you are and what it is you do, what it is you sell, who it is you serve. Include anything about your process that is different from typical companies. And this simple section, while it can feel redundant, you might already have some of this content out there. You might have shared this a million times over in a million talks, but this kind of content put in your content style guidelines is incredible for your content team because they have one place to go to learn what it is you do, what it is you sell, and guess what? Knowing that drives revenue. <laughs> so if your content team isn't actually clear on what it is you do, why you do it differently, why you're the best at it, they're not gonna put that in your content. So start there and you can see this in my example of our brand content style guidelines. Next, you wanna go into your brand content style. This should start with the use of your brand name. How are we supposed to write your brand name? How are we supposed to treat the capitalization of it? Are there special rules here? I can't tell you how many times we messed up on a brand name in my 10 years of producing content because the client wasn't actually clear on how to use it. Some brand names don't include spaces, even though they're two words. Some brand names are lowercase. You need to have this defined in your brand content style guidelines and your writers, your creators will never have to guess. Next, one of my favorite parts, your tone of voice. So this can be up to six and seven characteristics of your your particular style as a brand, as an author on the internet. And for me, Content Hacker is closely tied to Julia McCoy, right? So my style, it's simple, 
We're clear, there's no fluff, but it's also deep. We don't keep it light and superficial around here. We are one of the best resources on the planet where you can go and learn how to create effective content, how to grow exponentially online through content strategy, skills, and systems. So we go deep on YouTube, on my blog, on my podcast. We don't stay in the shallow water. Next, we're very direct. You know, I often say real talk on my podcast, my blog. We keep it real. Even if the truth hurts, we want you to know what really works. Our other characteristics, we write fun and engaging content. We don't want you to be bored reading our content. We want you to laugh, to smile. And I've often been told when people pick up my book, that was actually fun to read and they're surprised. <laughs> but that's what I aim to do in my industry, in my vertical. When I teach content, it's going to be in a fun and engaging way. So this is a rule we share with our content team in our brand style guidelines. Next, we are informative. We always inform and give value. You'll often see statistics in our content because of how informative we are. You can trust that those statistics have been well researched. And lastly, we have authority. We have authority because we have over a decade. My team and I combined have hundreds, thousands of finished projects behind us where we successfully developed websites. We successfully led content for clients, right? So with that history, we can say with authenticity that we are the authority in our niche. What are you an authority at? Or for your client, what are they an authority at? Be sure to explain this if you're putting down the characteristic of being authoritative. Anyone can say that, but do they have the history to back it up? And then next we devote about two pages to explaining if we were a movie character, here's what we would be. For us, that's Daisy Ridley, an up and coming actress on the big screen. You know, for you, think about something that really reflects who you are. And this can be, you know, you can pull from a million different characters. And this is just a really fun thing to give your content team because they can relate to that character that you relate to. And they can pull out some fun and witty statements that tie into the culture, right? Maybe a movie GIF in some of your tweets because they know which one you identify with. And then you need to devote at least a page to links links to your best stuff, your best blogs, your best podcast, your best video content, your best interviews, you name it, it needs to be collected into this document. And then it's all about the visual rules, your logo, how do you use your logo? What color codes should we adhere to? What do some good promo images look like whenever we're creating some promo images for a campaign? So if you put all this together in one doc, yes, it's going a little bit further than the brand tone and the brand style, but collecting all of this and putting it together in one informative doc, we went a little bit above and beyond. It really gives your content team, or if this is for your client, their content team, you, if you're a content creator for them, really gives that brand a step up because this is something that's evergreen, that can last in their archives. It can be shared with every single new content creator and get them up to speed in a matter of minutes. So create a guiding brand tone and style guidelines document. I can't recommend it enough. It will help everyone on board with that brand. It'll give them clarity and insights. Again, please be sure to download my free brand voice and tone style guidelines worksheet. You're going to get a series of questions. You're going to see how to formulate this document. And to learn more about me, go to contenthacker.com. I hope that this video helped. Be sure to subscribe right here on YouTube for more practical videos just like this where we go deep. We're not superficial, right? That's one of our brand style and tone characteristics. And I'm sharing it with you right here on my channel. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you around.